actually, it wasn't just weather. You, you mentioned that there, you weren't able to make one study site because you ran into um, crevasses. crevasses. Yes, that's, that's the big one. You know, weather, if you're prepared for it and if you have the patience and you don't do something unreasonable, uh, you can take the weather, you can dress for it and survive it in a tent. Uh, it's the crevasses, and especially in our field area this season, um, we, we call them a landmine crevasses, or it's like going through a land, uh, field for, full of landmines because they're very barely visible on the surface. Some of them are probably not at all visible. This picture that I gave you is a picture of a shear zone that where you can clearly see these crevasses, but because the surface of the ice sheet is living, it's, it's all the time receiving snow and the snow is blowing, with the wind, um, these crevasses, unless they're very uh, rapidly opening, they will get buried quickly and then they become invis invisible and then you just travel across the surface and you never know whether when you step off the uh, skidoo you're gonna fall into a crevasse. And we did have a case this season where we were in an area where we thought uh, it was safe because we traveled over it before on skidoos, but then uh, one of the uh, field team members stepped off a skidoo and and uh, broke a, a snow bridge on a crevasse. Fortunately for him, it was just a crevasse that was smaller than his foot. And then we had to crank up our uh, safety um, uh, procedures uh, because of that. And we, we started to be basically uh, linked to our skidoos with uh, climbing ropes and um, really carefully probing the snow surface with snow probes to, um, to discover crevasses.